Long-standing programs serve vulnerable community members. Since 1987, the Silesian Tijuana Project has been helping disadvantaged youth and migrants residing in the border city of Tijuana, Baja California Norte, Mexico. Operated by the Society of Saint Francis de Sales, Salesian missionaries, the project provides food, healthcare, and basic education to thousands of people each month. Before the pandemic, migrants could have their hair cut, take a shower, put on clean clothes, and make phone calls. But many services had to be suspended to comply with the government's COVID-19 safety measures, and because of fewer donations and volunteers. By networking with other institutions, the Salesians are beginning to resume their noble work that many depend on. Our heartfelt gratitude, Salesian Tijuana Project, associated agencies and personnel. We pray that all humans can have peaceful and fulfilling lives in harmony with each other and all animal co-inhabitants in God's all-embracing mercy. Rare fungal disease threatens individuals with weakened immunity. Doctors in India have reported cases of mucormycosis, a rare illness caused by molds commonly found in soil and on damp walls of old buildings. It usually affects a person's sinuses or lungs and can be fatal if left untreated. The fungus often affects younger individuals with underlying conditions like diabetes. However, the Indian Council of Medical Research has noted that COVID patients treated with steroids or confined to intensive care units may also be at risk. Physicians want the public to be alert for early symptoms of mucormycosis, especially a stuffy and bleeding nose, so that antifungal intravenous injections can be prescribed. Our deepest appreciation, medical professionals of India, for your caution and for everything you have been doing to save precious lives. By the grace of the providence, may your country's suffering be alleviated to the greatest possible extent. Australian company schedules launch of satellite to monitor terrestrial combustion. Fireball International, headquartered in Queensland, has developed an artificial intelligence system that can rapidly detect and assess wildfires. Dubbed Fuego, the integrated program analyzes images and data from cameras on the ground in the air and aboard orbiters to provide local command centers with real-time fire maps. The firm has already been hired to maintain surveillance over the west coast of North America, from Mexico to Canada, and plans to put its first satellite dedicated to Australia into orbit next year. Once all the components are in place, Fuego will be able to spot 99% of all fires within five minutes, thus initiating a swift emergency response. Bravo Fireball for advancing such a high level of protection for the planet. We pray that global temperatures will soon stop rising as more people switch to plant-based diets in celestial wisdom. British government invests in infrastructure to deliver fast broadband nationwide. A significant number of hard-to-reach homes and businesses in the United Kingdom are currently lacking high-speed internet service. Government ministers have announced an initiative called Project Gigabit, which will install the necessary fiber optics so that by 2025, at least 85% of all citizens will have access to data speeds of 1,000 megabits per second or greater. Analysts foresee that the program will create jobs throughout the country, boost economic recovery from the pandemic, and catalyze high-tech and creative industries. A sum of five billion pounds is being allocated for construction work to begin in 2022, with another 210 million pounds in vouchers set aside for customers who may need financial assistance with the upgrade. The United Kingdom is a laureate of the Shining World Leadership for Caring Award, Shining World Wise Leadership Award, and Shining World Leadership Awards for Protection, Animal Protection, and Kindness. A big round of applause, United Kingdom, on your plan to provide next-generation communication technology. May your benevolent intentions facilitate the distribution of constructive information and enlightening entertainment in heaven's blessings. Young boy aspires to make life easier for others. Maddox O'Connor of Indiana, USA, has a rare mitochondrial disease that required weekly trips to the hospital when he was six years old. 
On one of his visits, Maddox befriended a homeless person lingering outside. The boy felt a oneness with the man's struggle to survive and gave him the leftover items in his lunch bag. This inspired the youngster to prepare blessing bags regularly for people on the street. With help from his parents, he founded Maddox's mission and regularly distributes sacks containing food, hygiene products, and a handwritten note of encouragement. Recently, he delivered 200 of them to his hometown police department, asking the officers to keep some in their patrol cars. Heaven bless you, Maddox O'Connor, and your supportive family. We pray that your loving thoughtfulness will spread far and wide. The company launches Fish Free Canned Tuna. The documentary Sea Spiracy has been raising public awareness about the environmental impact of the fishing industry. At the same time, consumer demand for plant-based seafood alternatives has surged. One company that has responded is Sea So Good, based in the Netherlands. The startup recently launched its Happy Tune line of vegan canned tuna products, which boasts high amounts of omega-3 fatty acids. Albert Hein, the largest supermarket chain in the country, is carrying all three flavors, original, olive oil, and lemon and black pepper. They can be added to salads, served on bruschetta, and even work well on pizza toppings. Market forecasters expect that within the next 10 years, faux seafood will develop into a billion dollar industry. Kudos to See So Good. May your forward thinking ways inspire more innovation from the food industry to hasten our progress toward world vegan in divine upliftment. Flamingos return en masse to Anatolia. Lake Tuz is the second largest water body in Turkey. It is quite shallow and salty, which appeals to the tall pink birds. Every year when the weather gets warm in September and October, they visit by the thousands. It is an ideal habitat that supplies them with food and security for incubating their eggs and nursing their young. This scheduled layover during migration represents the species' largest natural breeding colony. Turkish residents and tourists come to celebrate the annual event as scientists monitor the health of the avian population. Our hearts are gladdened by the beauty of these grateful beings, and we are thankful to Turkey for being a welcoming host. We pray that the peaceful regularity of the birds' lives will continue uninterrupted despite our rapidly changing world. 